We're back with Chris Albrecht, the Vietnam Veterans of America, and also Reads Across America with an important project. Chris, thanks for taking the time. What does Reads Across America want to do for Knox County? Well, we want to honor every veteran in our three Knox County uh, veteran cemeteries with an evergreen wreath during the holiday season. Now, this is a grassroots effort. There's no state or federal funding for it whatsoever. So like I say, grassroots, it's all just donations coming in from people like you and me. And how many graves do you hope to put Rees on? Well, with the three cemeteries combined, we're looking at 18,000 uh, veterans that we want to honor this year. And that's a moving target. Each year it gets bigger and bigger. They have about 15 funerals per week at the active cemetery on John Severe Highway. For people who don't know the history of this organization, explain that. The history is real interesting. It goes back to uh, quite a few years ago. It started small. There were about 5,000 wreaths placed at Arlington National Cemetery. Uh, in 1992, someone took a picture of those wreaths with a blanket of snow over them. The photograph went viral, and suddenly everybody wanted to do this at their own veteran cemeteries or help out at Arlington. And I think it was in 2016, perhaps, that then uh, County Mayor Tim Burchett uh, decided to bring this to town. His folks are uh, interred at the Veteran Cemetery on Lions View Pike. So it was very personal to him. And let's talk about why it's personal to you. Why are you involved in this organization? Uh, that's a real good question. And I can answer that with a saying that goes, a person... A person dies twice, the first time when they take their final breath, and again later when their name is no longer spoken out loud. And that's why when we place the wreaths, uh, we stand, we take a step back, and we say that veteran's name out loud. There'll be one day in the future that I'll be occupying a spot out at the uh, cemetery on Governor John Severe Highway, and I like to think that I'll be remembered that same way. Chris, how can people get involved? People can get involved in any number of ways. The thing that we need the most right now are donors. It takes $15 to bring in a wreath. There's a website, knoxwreaths.org, that uh, can be accessed. You can just have a credit card and donate. And again, here is that address. You can send donations to that P.O. Box address if you write a check. Also on the screen there, you can see the website. We have it online as well at WBIR.com. And if you'd like to come out and help lay the wreaths, that will be Saturday, December 19th. Other communities also taking part as well. You can read more about it right now at WBIR.com.